So Dr. Ben Carson is urging a return to fiscal discipline before, quote, the monster of inflation becomes too large to tame and we're left holding the tail of the proverbial tiger. He's the founder and chairman of the American Cornerstone Institute and former HUD secretary. Dr. Carson, always good to have you with us. So uh, this is the question. Have we mm -hmm. had too much stimulus? We had obviously a terrible year, more than a year with COVID. Then we had this attempt to fix it by throwing tons of money at the problem, six and a half trillion if President Biden gets all he wants. How do you see it? Well, you know, if you look at uh, our national debt in uh, 2008, you know, we were looking at uh, $5 trillion. Mm. By the end of 2020, we're looking at $22 trillion, and we just added more trillions of dollars to that. To think that that can be done without consequences is foolish. And as Milton Freeman, the, the well-known uh, economist, said, you know, when you have more money than spend, than you have goods and services to spend it on, you're going to get inflation. That's exactly what's going on. And uh, I find it hard to believe that uh, many of the people making policies these days don't know that. Uh, and it could be that there's an, another reason for all of this spending, and that is if you increase the national debt to an astronomical level, you can justify massive taxation and redistribution of wealth and gain more control. So, you know, I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but uh, I think that's really one of the reasons that, that uh, Khrushchev said many years ago that your grandchildren's children will live under communism and will never have to fire a shot because he understood that all you had to do was gain control of the educational system, mm -hmm. gain control of the media so you could feed the people only what you wanted them to hear, massively raise taxes, justifying it with huge national debt, and replace God with government. And it seems to me that those are the things that are going on right now. There is no question that the average man is going to suffer significantly from these massive infusions of money. There's no free lunch. You think, uh, oh, the government's going to give me another check. Oh, mm -hmm. this is great. Who's going to pay for that? Your children and your grandchildren. Their lifestyles are going to be negatively mm -hmm. impacted in a very, very major way. All of our lifestyles are going to be impacted. You can't just spend money that you don't have with no consequence. It's amazing to me when you look at the amount of money that is going into this. And simultaneously, you have an economy that seems to be champing at the bit to get rolling, right? Businesses that are really wanting to open and they can't get people to work because a lot of, in many cases, a lot of people are okay collecting that check until September um, when it was originally supposed to run out in June, which is starting to feel like it would have been perfect timing, Dr. Carson, um, exactly. as, as we head into the summer. So why is there no acknowledgement of that? And uh, again, I think there may be some ulterior motives, some other things that are going on here. But the American people are the ones that we have to have confidence in. They have to wake up. They have to understand that, you know, this candy is poison that, that's being pumped into them. And it's going to have a very negative impact on everything that they do. And just remember back in the days of, of Jimmy Carter with massive inflation and joblessness that was going on. Yeah. Uh, and think about the policies that happened. Think about when we lowered the regulations and we lowered the taxes and we created the environment that, that caused a tremendous explosion in jobs and a, a tremendous explosion in income. Yeah. There is a way to do this. These things are not coincidental. Well, uh, it's a very interesting perspective, and I thank you for sharing it with us. It's very clear that we are not getting the message, you know, of can-do spirit and get back to work and uh, start a new business, and we're going to make that easier for you. That is not the message that's being sent right now, and there's a lot of questions about why. Exactly. Dr. Carson, thank you. Very good to see you, sir. Thank you, Mike.